Hi everybody, this is the second part of experiment number three. So here we have a cylinder of a metal, metal B, and we immerse that for 10 minutes in hot or boiling water actually. So the temperature of this boiling water, let's just check. So we can have the exact number. So this thermometer says we have 99.5 Celsius. So that's the temperature of the boiling water. We keep this immersed, as I mentioned, for 10 minutes. So the temperature of the metal is that, is 99.5 Celsius. Here, in the calorimeter, we have about 150 milliliters of water. I will provide to you the mass of the water that we have in there. And again, we have the temperature prop connected to the data logger to collect the temperature versus time data. So the temperature inside the, the water inside the calorimeter is about 19.4 Celsius. So what we are going to do now is we are going to remove this from the boiling water. So be very careful if you do this experiment in the future because this is really hot. We are just going to quickly remove any excess of water that we have here. And we are going to open this, put our cylinder in, close it, and then just turn this off. And then we are going to start the steering. I'm just holding this to assure that our calorimeter is closed since we have this piece of wire out here. So as you can see in the data logger, the temperature of the water inside the calorimeter went up. to about 26.8 Celsius. I will provide this data for you as well. So when we are measuring the heat capacity of these different metals, the experimental setup is the same. We use boiling water to heat up the cylinder of the metal. So the temperature of the metal we expect it to be the same as the temperature of the boiling water, which is 99.5 Celsius according to the thermometer. After that, we immerse that cylinder in a known mass of water at room temperature. In this case, it was about 19 Celsius. And we collect the data for about three, four minutes. So for all the metals that we have in this, in this experiment, we have metal 